Hello, not going to keep you long today. We're going to make this absolute beauty. Chicken, four cheese, onion, toasted. Oh yeah. Welcome back to How to Cook Great. So let's have a look at the ingredients that we're using today. So there's the chicken. I'll talk to you about that in a moment. Three cups of cooked chicken. And then here, half a cup. One, two, three, four. These are all half a cup. I'm using four different cheeses today. Mozzarella, Parmesan, cheddar, feta. If you want, you don't have to use those four. You could use maybe just one or two or a different one if you want. Maybe get some blue cheese in there, gorgonzola or something. A little bit of onion, a couple of tablespoons. Tablespoon of chopped parsley or some other fresh herb that you might like. A couple of teaspoons of garlic and a couple of teaspoons of a hot sauce. So with my chicken, this is a whole chicken with skin and bone and everything. And what I've done is I boiled it. And when I boil chicken, I usually put some sort of aromatics in it. In this one, I've put some cinnamon, star anise, ginger, turmeric, and salt. You don't have to do that, obviously. I'm just letting you know what chicken I'm using here today. So shredded it off the, the bone. There's a little bit of skin in there, which I don't mind. Some people won't like that, but that's it. Very simply, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get all this and mix it all together. So a mixing bowl, very simple. Chicken's in. Gonna get that hot sauce in there, a couple of teaspoons of that adjust everything that I'm doing you know you might want a bit more hot sauce than this garlic just a little bit the parsley or some other fresh herb and the onion then we're going to drop in that quarter cup each that's mozzarella here's fresh parmesan here, cheddar cheese. And my final cheese is feta. In that goes. Now, I'm not gonna add any salt to this for sure because the cheese will be quite salty. If you want, up to you, try a little bit for, I wouldn't recommend it. And if you want, add some black pepper. I'm gonna get a glove on. I'm gonna get in there and give that a little squeezy mush up. That kind of does need a bit of a squeeze more than a mix, you know? It needs to all be sort of squashed together. And that's what you should end up with. So I've got four slices of bread there. I'm using a kind of brownie kind of bran bread, but you can, you can use any bread you want. And you can see that I've buttered it. Now what I do is I melt my butter and brush it on. And it, it just means I get a nice kind of even coating on it. So we're gonna concentrate on the two center ones. We're gonna turn them over. And then we're gonna grab our beautiful chicken cheese. And it really is beautiful. Now you can't spread this on because it's quite a kind of thick thing. So you're going to have to kind of crumble it on there. So let me get on there and do that. And I'll be back in a moment. So yeah, put that on. Do it as thick or as thin as you like. Then what we're going to do is, so we've got butter facing down. We're now going to have butter facing up. And then we're going to go to the sandwich press. So you can see these are thick and beautiful. On the press, you know, I've got one of these ones, you know, like that, a kind of George Foreman, although this actually isn't a George Foreman. I'm gonna close that down. I put mine on maximum heat, you don't have to. You know what we're looking for. Goldenness, toastiness, beautiful stuff. Mm, I reckon, yeah, maybe four minutes. Okay, let's jump in here and have a look, shall we? Oh, yes. That's what we want, isn't it? So I like it about there. You can go a bit longer if you want. That's fantastic. Should we, uh... It's an absolute wonderful, wonderful sandwich. Really good. So happy. Hello, how you doing? Look, not gonna keep you long today. Nice, quick, easy toasted sandwich. So we've got chicken and cheese. Very, very easy. So one cup of cooked chicken, one cup of cheddar cheese, a little bit of onion, I've sliced mine, a little bit of cilantro, and then about a teaspoon each of salt, pepper, and chili powder. Nothing to it, in a bowl, give it a little mix, and then we're gonna get some bread ready. Delicious stuff.
So I'm using four slices of white bread. You can use a different bread if you want, of course. What we're gonna do is we're gonna butter the sides of bread and then we're gonna face the butter down to put the filling onto that. So you want the butter on the outside. I use a brush, I actually melt my butter and then I just brush it on so you get all the corners really nicely. Very simply, once you've filled it up, I mean as much or as little as you want, pop it into a grill. I've got one of these kind of George Foreman things. It's not actually a George Foreman, but that sort of thing. Sandwich press, off it goes. Absolutely delicious. I hope you enjoy that. You keep safe, you keep well. I'll see you soon. Lots of love. Hello, how you doing look today? You're not going to keep it long, just a nice little snacky kind of toast thing. So we're going to use anchovies or boccaronis, which are slightly different, but you can use either one. Mixing bowl, one cup of tomatoes cut fairly small, about a quarter cup of green onions or scallions, bell pepper, I like that in there, I'm using yellow, again tiny amounts and cut really small. There's the boccaronis I'm using, or anchovies, nice and salty, about a quarter cup. By the way, you can adjust the amounts of all of this, can't you? Little bit of parsley in the mix. Then I like to add in there, chopped again really small, some black olives. I'm using kalamata, love those ones. Olive oil. Now I'm not gonna add any salt to this today, but I am gonna add some black pepper. Now you adjust the amounts of this and add some other little bits in there that you fancy really, very, very simple. Mix this around, then what we're gonna do is get that on some toast. Off you go, delicious stuff. Really, really simple and delicious. Keep safe, keep well, I'll see you soon. Lots of love. Hello, not going to keep you long today, nice bit of cheese on toast with a little tiny twist. This is my base model, you can add other stuff if you want. Right, we've got a bowl of cheddar cheese, I'm using a nice sharp cheddar, a little bit of onion and a nice knob of butter. Now you can really adjust the amounts of all of this, entirely up to you. I'm going to drop in some nice hot pepper sauce, this is quite a kind of harsh one, you know, it's pretty heavy this one, but I love it. Go for something a little bit more kind of gentle if you want. Plenty of black pepper. I'm not going to add any salt because of the, um, the cheese and everything. Maybe a teaspoon of ketchup in there, just straight tomato ketchup. And then in I go, got my glove on, I'm just going to give that a little mix up. Squeeze it in between my fingers and stuff like that. And then very simply what we're going to do is we're going to get some toasted bread. I've got four slices here and we're going to place it on. As thick or as thin as you like. We're going to pop it under the grill, job done. Now, like I say, this is my base model, but I sometimes add other things. You can add some kind of peppers in there, some ham, some salami, whatever you like. It's really, really delicious. Play around with it. Hope you enjoy that. Keep safe, keep well, and I'll see you soon. Lots of love.